Medicare is a federal program enacted by Congress in 1965 and was created to provide medical benefits to individuals age 65 and older, individuals who are receiving Social Security disability benefits, and individuals of all ages who suffer from chronic kidney disease. It is comprised of four parts, aptly named Medicare Part A through Part D, and covers expenses ranging from hospitalization to prescriptions. Let's examine Part A and discover how it benefits the individuals it covers. Medicare Part A is known as Compulsory Hospitalization Insurance, or HI. Individuals are eligible for Part A once they qualify for Social Security benefits, and coverage under Part A includes inpatient hospitalization, skilled nursing facility care, or SNF, home health care, and hospice care. During any one benefit period, the first 60 days of hospitalization is covered 100% by Medicare after an initial deductible is paid by the recipient. A benefit period begins when the patient enters the hospital and concludes once the patient has been out of the hospital for 60 days. Services covered under inpatient hospitalization include semi-private hospital rooms, general nursing, inpatient rehabilitation facilities, and other hospital services. If a patient exceeds the 60 days of hospitalization, a daily copay is required, which will allow them an additional 30 days of inpatient hospitalization for a total of 90 days. As mentioned, a benefit period begins when the patient enters the hospital and concludes once the patient has been out of the hospital for 60 days. If a patient needed to re-enter the hospital prior to the end of their benefit period, they would simply continue where they left off and no new deductible would be required. In other words, if a patient was discharged from the hospital on day 20 and needed to re-enter the hospital prior to the end of their benefit period, they can simply do so without paying the deductible and their first day would be considered day 21. However, if an individual needed to re-enter the hospital after their benefit period, a new deductible would be required and their 90-day inpatient hospitalization period would be renewed. Now, if a patient is hospitalized for more than 90 days, Medicare patients have a 60-day lifetime reserve that they may use. This benefit does not renew with a new benefit period, and a higher daily copayment is required during these additional days. If a patient is still hospitalized after their 60-day reserve, they are responsible for all additional charges that they may incur. Skilled Nursing Facility Care, or SNF, provides patients with post-hospital care for up to 100 days. In order to be eligible, the patient's doctor must certify that he or she is in need of daily skilled nursing care and only after the patient has been hospitalized for at least three days with related injury or illness. For the first 20 days, Medicare covers 100%. From days 21 to day 100, a daily copayment is required in order to continue benefits. However, no additional Medicare benefits are provided after 100 days of coverage. Home health care, which is available to individuals who are unable to leave their home and need a skilled nursing service, must be ordered by a doctor and be provided by a Medicare certified home health agency. Home health services may include medical social services, part-time or intermediate home health aid services, and the cost of related durable medical equipment. Medicare also provides hospice care to terminally ill patients who are in need of pain relief and symptom management. Hospice care can either occur in a patient's home or at a hospice facility and is covered nearly 100% by Medicare, with the exception of prescriptions and respite care, which both require co-payments. 